6 in the House Committee today, hot button bills moved to the full House to be voted on. Bills ranging from gun rights to whether a 17 year old should face punishment as an adult for crimes. WDSU reporter Ariel Broomfield is live with what happens next. Ariel. Yeah, Gina, this is week two of that special session, and it continues to draw a line down the aisle on these hot topic issues. Two big bills passed in the House committee earlier today. One is supported by gun advocates, and the second, it changes the age of juveniles being considered adults for crimes. Controversy continues at the Capitol. Week two of the crime special session continues Monday with the wind coming down for gun advocates. Louisiana has a crime problem with three of our cities being ranked among the nation's most dangerous. Representative Blake Miguez, who authored Senate Bill 1, a step closer to becoming law after it passed Monday afternoon. The bill allows law-abiding citizens to carry concealed handguns lawfully without a permit. Miguez says the goal is to give citizens more protections against violent criminals with self-defense rights. This legislation will not end the concealed carry permitting process. This process will remain an essential requirement for those seeking reciprocities to carry a firearm in other states. The bill got pushed back from New Orleans City Council President Helena Moreno, who says city leaders are focused on officer safety and getting illegal guns off the streets of New Orleans, where millions of tourists come year round. That we look at creating spe specific safety districts, gun free districts, like taking a look at the Vu Carre, the French Quarter, like taking a look at our entertainment district where we have the Superdome, where the Super Bowl will be happening, so that these are firearm free zones to keep the people of the city safe. Another controversial talk that passed Senate Bill 3 authored by Heather Cloud, which lowers the age for considerations as a juvenile in the criminal justice system. The bill would subject anyone committing crimes 17 and older to adult criminal jurisdiction. There have been 40 percent, 40 percent of increase in juvenile crimes since Raise the Age took effect. Out of all juvenile murders since Raise the Age took effect, 56 percent of them were committed by 17 year olds alone. The bill would involve all forms of crimes committed by 17 year olds, not just ones violent in nature. However, a district attorney has the final say on sending a 17 year old to prison. I happen to believe kids do kids things. They do stupid things. We all have been there. And I do believe that at 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 21, the mind isn't fully developed where it should be. Those against the bill says it changes the definition of what is a child under the law. And both of these bills now move to the full house for a vote. Reporting in New Orleans, I'm Ariel Brumfield, WDSU News. 509.